everybody. Tina here with Loving Life's Little Blessings, and I have a really fun card we're going to make today. I'm going to be using the fabulous hexagon punch, and I'm going to show you a little trick with it. And then I'm going to be using this stamp set, the For You stamp set. And um, you could also use the Six Sided Sampler stamp set if you needed to. So I just have a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock and I've just cut that at four and a quarter so I took an eight and a half piece of cardstock and I cut that at four and a quarter and that cut right in half and that's gonna give me the base of my card okay so the very next thing I have is I have a piece of this Bermuda Bay polka dot um, paper and it comes from our bright stack and I love it. I used it, um, you guys saw me use it in a card last week. And this measures three inches. And then I have a piece of uh, Whisper White card stock and it measures two and a half. So the first thing I'm gonna do is stamp on my Whisper White piece. And I'm going to take the thank you from the For You stamp set and we're going to use Bermuda Bay ink and I'm just going to use my mat and the grid lines to line this up and this is going to fit exactly all the way across and I'm just going to use this line right here so I want it pretty close to the bottom and you can see a little bit of it even goes off, but that's okay. I wanted it to stretch right across there. So then I'm going to take some Bermuda Bay. Um, this is taffeta ribbon. And we're going to tie a bow. You guys know I never do that on camera because I'm not good at it. So I'm going to come back and it'll be it's all done. Um, I didn't leave enough when I trimmed this ribbon, when I snipped it. I didn't leave enough to do a regular bow, which is what I wanted to do. So I just had to do a little knot like that. And I'll show you how I originally wanted it to come out at the end here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a little trick with your hexagon punch. Now you could either just punch you'll need six of them so you could either just punch six hexagons out of this paper that we're using or what you could do is you could stamp with some Bermuda Bay because you're gonna get the same effect there's a polka dot hexagon and you could oops that didn't come out very clear that's better I'm going to leave that open. So what you would need to do is either stamp your image and then punch it out. If you do it this way, you're going to have to trim your item down a little bit in the end. I'll show you what I mean. Um, but if you just use a regular hexagon, if you just punch it out, here it is. If you just punch it out, you won't have to trim. So this is this is the trick. We're gonna zoom way in. So here's your punch, and then here's your punched out piece. So you're gonna hold the tip of it like this, and you're gonna need to play around with this technique a little bit to get used to it. Um, I had to play around with it a lot last night to be able to get this exactly right. So don't do it on your pattern piece of paper right off. Okay, so then with the pointed end right here, you are going to bring your punched piece in and you're going to, if you can see, I'm putting it all the way into the punch up to my finger. So that's how I'm going to get these to all be the same size. And then I'm lining these up on the edge. So So then once you line those up and you're pinching it, your thumb is going to work as a marker. You're going to punch and you're going to get this little chevron piece. Okay. So I have punched out six of these. 
and you can see they're all about the same size and that's because when I put my finger right on that corner and I bring it into my punch every single time I'm just putting it right up to my thumb and so you're getting about the same size and um, if you do if you stamp first and then punch you have to trim off the extra white part and these are a little bit thicker you could do thinner chevrons but I don't because I like them to all try to be the same okay the same size so I have found that the larger ones work better to do that so the next thing that we're going to do I'm gonna zoom out a tiny bit so you guys can see now that we've punched is I have my snail so now I'm just going to start putting these on here Okay, this got a little crooked. That's okay. I'm not going to be a perfectionist. So then I have my Bermuda Bay. I'm going to turn this. And then I have this arrow stamp. And this comes from our um, clear photopolymer stamp set. And it is show and tell two. And I just love these arrows. So I'm just going to take this arrow... And see, it got really crooked. I might try to fix that. That's pretty bad. Do that straight. Let's try to fix this. Ooh. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I think it's a lost cause. Okay, I'm just gonna have to leave it. I'll show you the straight one in a second. So now I'm just gonna layer these items together. So we'll start by layering this item right into the middle of that. That's gonna give you a quarter of an inch of a border on each side. And then you're going to layer this piece onto this card onto this piece right onto your card and I like to do it right over you could do it in the middle right straight down the middle or you can do it to the side so let me show you the one that's nicer than this one that I did for you guys this is the one that I made last night and I added this little heart and this just came from a little heart punch and then I just added it right on the bottom um, I felt like this section needed something because there wasn't enough room for another arrow stamp so I just put it on a dimensional and I added it right there so the other thing that I did that was different on this card is I actually tied a bow and on this one I didn't cut my ribbon enough to tie it so I also just secured my bow down with a little glue dot I just stuck a little glue dot right under there so it wouldn't move around so that's my um, card for today I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys enjoyed the little tip on the hexagon punch I'm loving this punch it is my favorite new punch so thanks guys for coming by and I will talk to you later